Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what is response in Laravel. In last tutorial, we learn about the request and if you still not watch that tutorial, you should watch it first. Link given into the video description so you can easily find it. And you have question, what is HTTP response? Basically response is what sent back to user's browser when request made by the user. A response can be sent either from route or from controller. We can define response both place and widely we send response to browser through the controller because lots of our code we did inside the controller just route is a bridge to connect with the controller as you see in our one tutorial and if you want to watch that tutorial please find link into the video description also you can find in playlist as well all routes and controller should return response to send back to users browser and laravel by default provide several different way to return the response so i going to show all kind of way in this tutorial first of all i going to show you simple request from the route so i going to open web.php where all our routes are registered and i going to create one simple routes here let me copy this so we can use this and i show you response and just i going to return only single string so let me specify this is simple response and i going to make request to this route let's specify response and you can see this is simple response now i going to show one method which is response so you just need to specify the response and you can return anything in this response array you can return object also yeah one more thing i going to show first you can return response in array format as well like first second let's save and see now i going to remove this and show you example of the response this response method automatically convert response into the response object and i going to dd here so you can see response instance and understand I going to specify this string here this is first response and let's refresh everything inside the response object response is a class of the illuminate facade and like request we learn in last tutorial you can see headers this is content which is specified into the as the argument of the response method version status code is 200 because we send success status text is okay original this is first response i think it's same like content and exception and you can set headers content cookies exceptions with response 
you need to specify for example i going to set header here i just need to specify header method and i can specify type and value application json so response header is application json and let me show you see types application json same thing you can specify cookie as well also if you want to specify multiple headers you can specify with headers method and specify in array format for example uh, let me remove this and show you in mm, array format just you need to specify in array format type application json and let's refresh again and check the headers type application json let's specify another type for example authorization specify token save refresh and see authorization also there inside the headers so you can access these headers in view and your response as well and also headers name given inside the headers name array same you can specify cookie as well so let me show you one more example with cookie and you can specify cookie name cookie value and expiration time let me specify name user and uh, value is slash and expiration time is 180 you need to specify in minute now let's save refresh and you can see cookie inside the headers user silage expiration time everything so you can easily set cookie inside the response using with cookie also sometime we set lots of cookie in that time if we want to exclude any cookie from the response that time you can use without cookie instead of with cookie and specify name of the cookie and you can exclude that cookie from the response like that so laravel provide lots of thing and you can easily manage everything using this response next thing is when you want to redirect on another url as a response you can do it in laravel very easily so i going to show you that example return using the redirect method just you need to specify name of the route and route path inside the redirect method so let's take both example name of route and route path first of all i specify name of route home and i need to use route method for that and specify name of route so this method redirect on to the home page so let's save and refresh and you can see it's redirect on home page next one is i going to use direct path in this redirect method as the argument and save and just refresh 
into demo home and then specify route response and you can see here it's redirect one to the category module so you can easily redirect on any page any url through this redirect method and use it now guys i going to show few examples from the controller you can do everything which is i explain in routes from the controller as well now i going to show you some examples from the category controller and from the store you can specify one more method as a return response back and this method redirect back where request come from so let me show you i going to add new category when i click on save it's redirect me back to this page again you can see here input is clear and i back to the create sometime we need to check some validations and everything and we need to redirect back on the page that time we need to fill input as it is you can specify with input for that and let's save and try now again you can see input doesn't clear this time and as it is in input box next if you want to return error that time you just need to use with errors function and specify error messages inside this array so let me specify something when wrong save and refresh php save but you need to specify alerts and you need to display this message inside the view i have already let me show index.php no create.php i think create blade and see we use one flashed message and also admin lt templates common errors this is from the infium generator i using infium generator so but you can specify error message and display your error here uh, let me show you one example so you can easily understand first of all i going to check if condition and we can check if error is exist or not if error is exist then this part is render here the syntax is not correct let me correct and if now i going to specify div and specify alert bootstrap class alert danger so this class set background red and i going to use for each directive here for the loop and now we have array of errors so we need to render this error and we need to specify all and then let me specify items now save refresh and let me give the value and try and you can see i got twice because i specify once here and also i using this template that's why it's display 
two time so you can easily display errors using this width errors and with input also we can return view as a response so I am going to show you I have already one example in this my application and you can see I return index categories dot index file using the view method and we are going to learn about the view in separate tutorial thank you for watching a video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you